Hi, this is Irv Shapiro, aka Dr. Vex, and I'm going to teach you today how to download a 3D model off the internet, personalize it using Tinkercad, and print it as a gift for the holidays. Okay, let's get started. Many people that have had 3D printers for a long time, or people that are new to 3D printing, often download models off the internet and they print them on their 3D printers. It's a very simple process. You download a model as an STL file, then you process it in a program called a slicer, which creates layers for the 3D printer. You save it to an SD card, you put it into your printer, you print it, you're done. Easy. But wouldn't it be nice if you could personalize those models to create gifts, gifts for birthdays, for holidays, perfect for this time of year. I'm going to teach you how to do that today. And we're going to start by taking a look at Thingiverse. That's Thingiverse.com and searching for a model that we would like to personalize. So I'd like to create a um, toy horse for my grandson with his name. So I'm going to search for pool toys horse Here's one that looks interesting. And in fact, to start with, let's just personalize the horse itself. So I'll go to the files for that particular horse. And I see there are all the different parts. We just need the horse file itself. So I'll click on that name and that will download it. It's downloading now to my computer. Okay. Now that I have that file downloaded, I'm going to go into Tinkercad. Just go into Tinkercad.com. Tinkercad is completely free. Completely free. So go into Tinkercad.com. You can see some other models that I've worked on in the past. I had a birthday present for my 90-year-old father. I made a clip for my X-Acto knife. I made a case for a Ethernet switch that I wanted to hang on the wall. So we're going to click on Create New Design. Tinkercad is an amazingly easy computer-aided design program. A computer-aided design program is used to create a model that you're going to then manufacture using an automated manufacturing system. Tinkercad is designed specifically for grammar school children. So it's very, very easy to use. To create something with Tinkercad, you drag a shape onto your work plane. You drag another shape on the work plane. You connect those shapes together to build something. But instead of building something from scratch today, we're going to start with an existing model. I'm just deleting these shapes. And we're going to personalize it. So I'm going to go here to import. I'm going to choose from my download directory, the horse. I'm going to click import. And that's going to load it into Tinkercad. It'll take just a moment. This is a internet-based program. Now on my mouse, if I push down or press the right mouse button, I can rotate it. So we can see this is a three-dimensional object. It's a horse and it's sitting flat on the work plane. To give us a little more room, I'm going to right left click on the middle of the horse and drag it up. And now I'm going to go to the top and look at it as a top view, straight down from above. Now I want to personalize this for my grandson. So I'm going to just drag, click and drag text into the work plane. I'm going to change it to his name, which is Adir. Now, if I just drag this up, it seems to disappear. And that's because the horse is thicker than this text. And so the text is in essence covered fully by the horse. So to correct that, to make that easier, I'm going to click on the little arrow here and go to a different view and I'm going to make the letters a little bit deeper so that I can see them. 
Then I'll go back to click on this little arrow, go back to the top view. And now when I drag this in, I'll be able to see those letters. Now that happens to fit perfectly. If it didn't, I could adjust the size by clicking on these little boxes on the corner. Let's put it where we'd like it to be. Now if I leave it as a solid and we look at the side, you'll see it will come out from our horse. That would be just fine. But I'd like to cut this through the horse, sort of like a cookie cutter. Well, objects, shapes in Tinkercad can be either solids or holes. So if I click on this and switch it to a hole, that makes it a cookie cutter that will cut out of my shape. I'm now going to go to the side though, and I'm going to push it down just a little bit so it's going to cut all the way through. Then I'll go back to the top. I'll select my hole, my cookie cutter. I'll select my horse, and I will group them together. So when you group a hole with a solid, it cut, the hole cuts through the solid. So now if I click on this home icon, we will see that we have a three-dimensional shape. We can see it from the back. We have a three-dimensional shape that is cut out of our toy. Magical. Very simple. That took, what, a couple moments. Now, there's a, a slight problem with this. Can anybody see that problem? Well, we're going to discover that together when we go to print this. So to print this, all I do is I say export. The export format that we want for most 3D printers for the slicers that create the three-dimensional object into layers, make it into layers, is called the STL format. We'll see that Tinkercad gives it a crazy name. Well, I won't be able to remember that name. So I'm going to change this to horse with name. And then I'm going to export it again. And now, I need to slice that or prepare it for printing. So I'm going to open up Cura, which is the slicer that's used by my mono price. Select mini version two printer. That's a $180 3D printer. I'm gonna open up the slicer and you can see here, here's the space, the size of the space of the objects I can print. So I'm going to retrieve that file from download, horse with name, open it up, and boy, it looks a little bit big for this printer. So let me select that and go to this icon here, which is scale. Oops, that's move, this one which is scale. Uniform scaling means if I change one dimension, change the other dimensions. I'm going to change that to 50%, hit an enter key, and that looks like it'll be just about right. Now this doesn't need to be very strong, so I can leave it with a layer height of 0.22 millimeters. The height, larger the layer height, the faster this will print, but the less smooth it will look. And then the infill is how much plastic to put inside. I'm going to move that down to 10%. I'm going to click prepare. So it's telling me now that I can print this in 45 minutes. All I need to do is save it to an SD card, put the SD card into my printer, and uh, select the print option on the printer. That's it. When I'm done, I will end up with a toy that looks like this. Now, what's the problem with this toy? You notice the middle of the A and the middle of the D? Well, here are the middle pieces. Because they weren't connected to anything else, if we look back on the screen, because they weren't connected, they were just sitting there in the open, the printer printed them successfully, but when I picked up the print, they fell out. So I'd have to create those with a little rectangle, a little line of plastic, if I wanted them to stay. So in this very quick tutorial, we showed you you can download an object from Thingiverse. In fact, you can download an object from any of the 3D modeling sites. 
If the object has a flat surface, it makes it very easy. You load the STL file into Tinkercad. You add text to that STL file, either on top or by cutting it out by making a hole. You then resave the STL file, load it into your slicer, slice it for your printer, and print. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see how to do more things with your 3D printer, please subscribe, click on the little bell so you'll be notified when I have new videos. Subscriptions to YouTube videos are completely free. It won't cost you anything. You can also check out more about learning how to become a maker at drvax.com. Thanks. Have a great day.